Hello, folks. You are listening to Busker Broadcast, and we are broadcasting here on 4th of July, and we have a couple of special guests. Would you all like to introduce yourselves? My name is Jeremy Marcotte. Uh, my name is Nathan Vargo. I've been on this show before. I'm a, this is my first time. I'm a local. Jeremy just uh, just passing through town. He's a old friend of mine from Raleigh. And uh, we've been playing some old-time music out here on the street, so figured we'd bring him in and uh, play some for y'all and talk. Awesome. All right, and I'm Abby the Spoon Lady. And we've been busking today and hanging out. We, we, we played a little bit at Pack Square, and then uh, we went to um, Spiritex Corner and played a little bit. And um, you're leaving town tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Heading back to Chatham County. Chatham County. And, um, so, and I'm, I'm hoping that you'll come back. So. Me too. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to play some tunes for you Play all. some fiddle and banjo tunes. Yeah, we got Jeremy of, like, on the round, fiddle. Round peak kind of tunes. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the banjo, so uh, I hope you all enjoy. Here's uh, well, Enough talking. What's What are we going to play first, Jeremy? Let's play Rockingham City first. Okay, this is a tune. So it's, I get it from get, like, Tommy Gerald and folks up in Surrey County. Yeah. Play this one. It's, uh, all right. It's, it's one of our favorites. Now, Rockingham Cindy, that, that song I know is older than than America. I know that. 
yes, I know these things. <laughs> that song, um, that song's actually Old English, I believe, <clears throat> to begin with. Came over from across the pond. Um, so, it's an old one. We play a lot of old songs, not yeah. a whole lot of new songs. <laughs> <laughs> So some of that new old time. Some, yeah. There's some good music, though, too. North Carolina and beyond. Yeah, North Carolina. We play music from North Carolina. And Vir- beyond. Virginia, <laughs> Eastern Tennessee. Kentucky. Let's see. Kentucky. West Virginia. Well, and, I, and beyond. How long have you been a busker? How long have I been a busker? I've been couple of years this is my first time being a busker in Asheville uh, and actually playing sets I've come here with my fiddle before last November and that was my first time busking in Asheville and got a little taste for it and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun played more sets than I can count on one hand with Abby and Nathan here and Played some with my friends Sarah and Kevin as well, and we've had Sarah in here. We had need, Sarah in here. We, yeah, we need to get Kevin in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. tried to get Kevin to come in here tonight, but he was a little. He's maybe he'll reluctantly stroll in for a while, play some guitar. Yeah, but he wants to celebrate the Fourth of July. Well, that's little, all right. A little uh, liquid. Uh, maybe you need some liquid encouragement. We'll see. That's okay. I guess we could play a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. From here. Uh, Why don't we do that Liza Jane, the... the... I'm not, I don't think we can do that in this... In this let's play another the one in this tuning. Are we in D? Oh, I forgot we were in D. Let's <laughs> see. I'll play, I'm going to play one called Hawks and Eagles oh, I got yeah, from... Yeah, yeah. A fiddler named Richard Bowman, who lives in Mount Airy, North Carolina, and he's from Ararat, Virginia, originally, and he plays a lot of traditional round peak, uh, round peak tunes in a in a longbow style, and plays with a fabulous string band called the Slate Mountain Ramblers, and they win every fiddler's convention, just about, and they're all wonderful people to hang out with and sit down and play tunes with you and this is one of my one of my favorites from him that's a real nice dance tune and I guess we're gonna we're gonna give it a go we've been playing it a lot on the streets
shit. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's a, it's a, it's a one part, one part wonder. One part wonder. <laughs> I like that. It's a great, it's a great simple, simple really breathing tune. Yep, still trying to figure out how to play it right, but, <laughs> but it's uh, it's well, always, it's, it's it always sounds, fun. It sounds great. I love it. Yeah, thanks, man. thanks, man. Your your banjo playing, it's not too shabby there, man. I was walking. The, I found Nathan. I was walking up the street. I was gonna set up a loan over by the iron, and figured I'd walk up to Pack Square and see what was going on. And then I and I saw a blonde, a blonde fellow, a beard up there playing the banjo. And I said, "Wait a minute! I know that. I know that guy." <laughs> and then proceeded to spend the next few days playing music for hours with him that's kind of the beauty of of the busking thing just run into people run into friends play music and what other cities have you busked in well i've busked a lot in the in the triangle area durham chapel hill raleigh the ibmas came to raleigh for those of you who don't know the it's the international Bu bluegrass music association they came to raleigh the past this i guess the past couple of years but this 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 year, we went down there. My buddy Joe, who I a roommate, he, he's a great fiddle player. We went down there. Our friend John, who plays the bass, and we went down there and played some music. Met up with a and met up with another friend down there and played a bunch of tunes all night and got really rowdy. There was rain. We had a rain dance party, so we played quite a bit in Raleigh, played some in, played the Durham Farmer's Market, Durham with a, a fiddler named David Bass, who's done a lot of, a lot in the old time community over the past 30 years, and plays with a band called the Freight Hoppers, and Chapel Hill a little bit, um, I look forward to playing more in Asheville though, because it's a, it's, it's a, there's much more of an appreciation for the busking than other places that I've played. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, other cities, uh, I mean, there are other cities that are good for busking, but Asheville is definitely a very special place in its way that it treats its artists and the way that, um, you know, artists and musicians are viewed in general and performers are viewed in general. I don't just mean musical artists. I mean the human statues and, and so on and so forth um, that are out and about. Um, you know, and as an example, you know, the fact that we can even be in this radio station right now doing what we're doing, this is probably the only radio show in the world that is run this way and that, that pulls people in straight off the street and does this. So thank you, WPVM. This is an incredible opportunity. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Um, yeah, so... As far as Raleigh and and busking and Chapel Hill, do you, do you feel like people uh, view performers in the same kind of light as here? Like absolutely not. No, it's a much more of a much more of a novelty and less of a something to be taken seriously, something to be appreciated, just something to be shrugged off. And I and it's and it's it's different. I encounter a lot of different people but in yeah in Raleigh it's not something that people really want to spend time actually appreciating they have it's just a very very different city right and yeah it's I I busted a uh yeah, we've, yeah we've busted there yeah um over the past few years um I used to go out on I, I had mostly n like neutral to negative experiences there, unfortunately, and even just in the way that people reacted to what I was doing, and a lot of people didn't understand, like they had no context to understand really what I was doing. When people, a couple more than once, people came up to me and talked to me and treated me as if I was a panhandler, you know. And I come to Asheville and people crowd around me to listen to my music 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's just very such different. a stark difference, you know, and it's and it's pretty discouraging when somebody says some when you're playing music and somebody comes up to you and says, Why do you deserve money? They ask they say that to your face and most I mean, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time learning the banjo, just playing on the street. Yeah, playing for sure. And if that was ever discouraging, I would just move somewhere else outside where there weren't any people. Whereas in Asheville, it's very, very different. People are very appreciative and encouraging and have a very, hold music very highly as a, as an, as a, you know, as an art that uplifts people and has a very direct effect on people's moods. And it's really nice to be in a city where that's possible. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, it's funny, actually. Uh, Jeremy and I have known each other since we were kids, basically. We, the the we rock climbing rock gym. Climb together, yeah. Uh, but we we just kind of grew up in the same circle, sort of. But um, we we started playing old time music at, at the same time, really, and uh, but separately, uh, and then we saw each other again and we had both picked it up and uh it's been a couple years now um and here we are here we are (laughs) (laughs) uh, well do you do you um do you like this moment in your life oh this is great (laughs) i've really loved playing with jeremy too it's been really great it's been a real treat this this past few days. Um, it's it's really made me really happy to be able to play, just like to play this music and you know, that's really what in old time music it really is about the community and about the friends you make um, playing this music. That's what that's what keeps this music alive, and that's what drives this music. And you can, it's part of, it's really part of the the music itself. Um, so it, it's these like relationships that you form and communities that come out of sure. out of these out of jams and festivals and just friends playing um absolutely it's it's unlike anything I, I i grew up playing music i started on piano when i was pretty young got into the drums and then i ended up getting really into performing jazz music and getting into the communities and, and other types of music um there's just not the same level of positivity that there is in old time there it's 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 not the it's def, it's just not as welcoming and social and and relaxed and you know just generally positive and that's been the, kind of the biggest factor in my other than my love for the music it's really the community is what makes me want to keep playing it if there was if there wasn't a community I wouldn't. I wouldn't be playing this music. That's what's up. Well, on that, you want to play another tune? Yeah. Here? Yeah. What tune you got for me? Um, uh, give me a. Well, what's the title of this one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's let's do fly around. We've been playing that one a lot. Susan Anagal or Fly Around by Pretty Little Miss. She goes by a lot of different names.
miss fly around my daisy fly around my pretty little miss before you drive me crazy So, um, you thought about doing the New Orleans thing? Oh, I've definitely thought about it. But you haven't done it I yet. I haven't done it yet. Just gotta try to. Go <laughs> I will let you know. <laughs> I've definitely thought about it. Just gotta try to figure out where I'm at in life as far as figuring out a path and all that. And. It always seems to come back to music, though. So, yeah, do you, do you feel like music is what you would like to do for a living? I have mixed feelings about that. You know, yeah. I, I kind of, I, I enjoy separating, you know, separating work and music. But then again, music is a thing I do with most of my time. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, right now I'm teaching a lot of music and playing a little bit and going to school to the community college in cent in uh, Central Carolina. Studying what? Sustainability technologies, like renewable energy and building science, and trying to kind of trying to figure out if maybe if I can fit in somewhere in that, that one field. of those industries. And I don't know. I just always kind of resort back to music. Well, right yeah. now, if you weren't playing music, what would you be doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to get back to you on that one. That's an, <laughs> that's an interesting question because I asked myself that, that same question and I look back and I, you know, and I realize I'm only here where I am anyway because I've been playing music. I have yeah. no idea where I would be. Yeah. I have no Jeez. idea. My entire life would be completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I ask myself that sometimes in... I haven't come up with an answer yet. I, I, I feel like I'd be a lot more thoughtful in life. Yeah. I feel like music saved me in a lot of ways. Yeah, me it too. Became, it became so unique because it became something that was so enjoyable for me to put into that string for myself. And and my parents were always like, hey, man, you will never be able to <coughs> um, sacrifice any
CDs and a lot of really, really good people um, and a lot of college friends. I mean, the musical, I mean, the music community in general is Absolutely. A lot of different kinds of musicians, but a lot, a lot of musicians that I've been around are, are very committed and disciplined, and uh, it's really awesome. It's been really inspiring to be around that. Um, and I don't know where I'd be without all those people and all of that inspiration. I ag- I agree. It's a uh, the music is a saving grace. For a lot of us, probably, I've probably run into dozen, you know, a dozen, a couple dozen people today who would agree with me on that. Yeah. Well, why don't you pick us another tune? All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really want to change tuning. Oh, that's crazy. That's a no- what a novel idea. <laughs> See if we're let's see if we're close. You got some folks watching in the window. I'm gonna wave at them. <laughs> and there's Billy Scribbles waving in the window too. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, we wanna do, you wanna do that Liza Jane, right? You like yeah, that, yeah. Uh, this is a Liza Jane I get from a East Tennessee fellow named Bill Birchfield, and put my own little jig on it, I guess. There we go. Why <laughs>
across the mountain to see my last day. I'm going across the mountain to see my last day. That's great. So, here, you should say hello and introduce yourself real quick. We're doing we're doing a show about busking, and that's all we talk about on this show. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You say hello. Hi, my name is Stephen Schilling, and I, I'm from Pennsylvania. Stephen used to bus with me in Nashville, <laughs> and so when I saw him walking by, I was like, oh, you should come in and say hello. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you play, Steven? I play guitar. Tunes, that's all right. Banjo. Yeah, I, 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 I need to get out of here actually. It's been it's been uh, oh, a pleasure. pleasure. I'm glad you walked by. Yeah, I hear the banjo. Yeah, I hear the banjo. Yeah, the banjo made by a friend of mine named Mike Ramsey. Uh, he's he's been out of a lot of places, but now he's out of Pittsburgh, or I live close to Pittsburgh. Thanks for playing, Nathan. It's been it's been a blast. Yeah. I'll see you, uh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be out on the street again, I think, probably. Take care. Have a good night. Thanks. If you want to hang out, feel free to Play one called Big Eyed Rabbit. play that with a handful of different folks busking. I really it's like a, that one. It's a fun one. It's a it's a nice standard. Yeah, it's you a, know? It's a good round peak tune from well, Tommy Gerald. When you say round peak tune, maybe you should describe for the audience what that means so that Yeah, so round round peak is kind of it's an area of Surrey County, North Carolina, around Pilot Mountain. Which is a is, is a round peak. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's it's a commu- it's a community of musicians that been playing in a certain style for a long time, over a hundred years, and it's it's they play a lot on fretless banjos, and it's a lot of um, different uh, very a very rhythmic style and. It's a style that 
people you can hear a lot at fiddlers conventions like the one in Mount Airy and it's a really fun style to play and I a lot of people like are drawn to that style over other styles of old time music fellows like Tom, a fiddler named Tommy Gerald and Fred Cockrum they played a lot of the music and there are a lot of great recordings around peak music and I play a lot of Tommy Gerald on my Wednesday night show, which is all old time music, and he's nine to eleven. He's a, it's yeah, Tommy Gerald's one of the scratchiest and grooviest fiddle players on the planet, or was. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, and a lot of people learned from him. Thousands of people visited Tommy Gerald through his life and went to his house and played. Tunes probably played a lot of Big Eyed Rabbit, Rockingham, Cindy. Yeah. Um, a lot of the tunes that we play now. Breaking Up Christmas. Breaking Up Christmas. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I, I have really, I have a lot of fun playing Christmas songs in July. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the best, the most spirited. Christmas spirit is alive. And, so. and folks don't even realize it's a Christmas song until I tell them. <laughs> okay. Play. We play another. Well, I kind of want to play one called Fortune. It's in. This one's called Fortune. Comes from the Round Peak area. And uh, I'm going to try and play it. How soon do you plan on heading back to Asheville? How soon? I hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Really? That I soon? Could, I could hope. Uh, Some yeah, people tell me that, and they never come back. <laughs> or at least well, they they don't come back till the next season or something. And I'm yeah, sitting the there next, going, man. In the next in the next month or so. Awesome. I'd, I'd like to. Awesome. It's, yeah. It's Independence Day, everybody. Happy yep. Fourth of July. Yeah. Well. So, uh, so you got a fiddle and banjo. Do you play ever play mandolin or anything else like that? Or play have a guitar. You? And guitar. I'll probably bass a little bit. Um. Yeah. What about drums? Yep. Play the yeah. drums. So a little of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Pian I started on piano. Um, when I was pretty young and got interested in like blues and jazz music and now I, I enjoy playing a lot of the old time stuff on piano so the, your parents are musical or your my family? dad played the drums and my mom played piano and like 
did a lot of theater and, mu and sang songs from musicals and stuff. And I got interested uh, just in being around the instruments when I was young, and then kind of got hooked, I guess. But why old time? I mean, you, you're saying that you know, you piano, well, drums. Why, why old time? Why old time? Yeah. <laughs> Because it's it's rowdy. It's it's, it's 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 fun. It's 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 well, old time. It's the music and it's the people you meet in the community. It's that doesn't exist with a lot of other music. So did you just go to some old time jam somewhere and it, yeah, that, was, that was it? Well, I I was working in a restaurant in Raleigh. Um, it's called Mandolin, funny enough, and uh, I. Ran into this this guy and guy and girl playing together. They called themselves Whiskey and Water, and I've been really good friends with the guy ever since then. That was about three and a half years ago, maybe four, maybe. I don't even remember. It's been a blur since then. And he was playing the fiddle, and she was playing the banjo, and he would play, he'd play a little guitar. And uh, I was like, man, I you know, and it was great, you know, just great driving rhythms and. Then, about a week after that, it must have been a week after that, I hung out with Joe for the first time, and we went over to his parents' house, hanging out, and he, he hands me a banjo, and he's playing the fiddle, and he's just like, play, just pl let's play some tunes. I'm like, I don't know how to play this thing. I just like beat away on it for, for hours, and it sounded very, very bad. But uh, but it but but so I don't know something about that music just kind of I, 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 it you. just stuck with me the yeah. the rhythm and the just beautiful melodies. A lot of people say, why do you play that? It's so repetitive and just like there's nothing interesting. That's the most interesting yeah. music I've ever played. Yeah, to me too. To me too. Just like simple. I mean, it's it's the people say, oh, old time. That's like that's simplistic, and it's like it's not it's not simplistic. There's, mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's, it's, it's a, there's a kind of a some it's a very you know rhythmically interesting music and uh, I'm uh, I'm hooked on it I don't know I got the, I got an itch you know well, I think our speakers on outside so we might as well give a shout out to these ladies that are sitting here in the window S some ladies in the window yeah they're waving at us Happy hello ladies <laughs> maybe we should play them a song. <laughs> you have a song for ladies? <laughs> They're giving you the thumbs up here. <laughs> they're listening. They, they're they're pointing at their ears, saying they're listening. <laughs> oh no. If I had ten dollars more, I'd climb on Trigger Hill. Thank you. 
Sugar Hill. Them ladies seem to like your song. They, they waved goodbye and they was dancing the whole time. <laughs> well, I'm in the hopes that Asheville will continue to be a thriving <coughs> music city. <coughs> and <coughs> I feel like it will, will continue to as long as our communication continues to build. And one of the purposes of this show is to show that buskers come from all sorts of walks of life and the benefits that it gives to the community and the way that it enhances the music within a, a city or area, region, anything. Um, and, and that, you know, a busker isn't just, you know, whatever it is you think the average busker is. It's not that. Can't handle it. Well, you know, and some people think that, though. You know, you go to some cities, and, and they genuinely believe that, you know, if you're a busker, you must be homeless, when that's absolutely not the case whatsoever. You know, and that street performing is not only a valid profession, but it's also a valid hobby. It's totally okay to come out and do it as a hobby, too. And there can be both, folks that do it professionally and folks that do it as a hobby. Or... A Folks that do it as a professional hobby. Uh, yeah, that might that might be me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and but but it's a place where you can come out as a musical hobbyist and sit in with professionals and learn and enhance yourself and and get to the next level that way. And that's why it's important. You know, and I'm not just talking about music either you know other forms of art too so i don't know that's one of the points of this show that's one great that's a great point <laughs> i've never heard one of a show like it well there might be who knows i don't think there is though i don't think i think we're the only ones <laughs> well is there anything that any shout outs or things you like to talk about or do you have a fa facebook fan page or anything like that no nope. no well i back home i played with some uh, some guys we call ourselves the haywood billy goats you can find us on facebook i think i got a haywood billy goats and I we think play I got old an time. email from somebody we saying. play old time s string band music i play the banjo my fellow musical comrade joe keesler plays the fiddle We've got Andrew Small on fiddle and guitar, John Gaster on the bass, and we play at a lot of fiddlers conventions around North Carolina and playing at, in Virginia this year. We've been doing pretty well at the fiddlers conventions, which has been uh, some icing on the cake, as you could say, getting some, some good awards and some some good finishes up there so that's been fun and we don't we don't even do it for this competition we do it because it's fun and now i need to be going to fiddlers money. conventions yeah. i I'd, I'd be a one, one surefire accompaniment for, yeah. for a, that'd be a good one huh i'll play, <laughs> I'll play yeah in the banjo yeah contest. yeah that'd be fun be. to play as accompaniment for that because aren't you allowed to have one one mm -hmm. accompaniment for that? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am so on it. I am so on this. Okay, folks. It's on my bucket list. I'm going to be going to more Fiddler's Conventions. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> go to Galax. August 3rd through the 8th. Yeah, I think I think it will go to Galax, actually. I think we I think we got time for one more. If you feel like it. I'll play one called Wagon Wheel. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Hold on folks, you're listening to Okay, I was gonna close out the show suddenly, but <laughs> favorite song to start with when you go to play banjo or to end with uh, I'm not 
Some folks, when they're busking, they 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 sometimes have that one song that they always start with, or that one song that they always like to end with. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll play our, our John Brown's Dream. That's one that is a really fun banjo tune. John Brown's Dream's a good one. I've been having a lot of fun playing that one with Nathan. That's good. folks you're listening to busker broadcast and you can find us on facebook or you can find us on the web um at wpvmfm.org uh, i am abby the spoon lady how do they get a hold of you i'm jeremy marcotte that's m-a-r-c-o-t-t-e i'm on the the facebook all right the uh that's that's about it. I don't have. All right, folks. Else. If, if 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 you need to get hold of Jeremy, I'm sure I could find a way to get yeah, hold of him. Hold so Abby. so just send me a message if you need to get hold of Jeremy, and then we'll find a way to get it to him. So Abby Spoon Lady at Gmail dot com, Spoon Lady Music dot com, um, and all of it's all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. The street corner, Asheville, airwaves, everywhere. Everywhere. The Spooniverse is ever expanding. Um, so, coming up on Tuesday, we have the Buskers Collective meeting. That's 1030 in the morning at, at New Mountain. Um, at the SOL bar that's upstairs. Uh, 1030 in the morning on Tuesday. And usually lasts about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so if you have concerns, questions, anything about street performing, you can come to the meeting or you can find the Asheville Buskers Collective on Facebook or Asheville Buskers Collective at gmail.com. I am putting together a website for the Buskers Collective and hopefully that will be up Tuesday. Hopefully. But um, in the meantime... Do you have anything that you would like to say to our audience? Or how about tips for for buskers? You know, like, do you have any, uh, you know, or, or other musicians? <laughs> hmm. Tips for other musicians. Yeah. Put, put yourself into the music. Do it for, you know, do it for the enjoyment of playing and... 
the enjoyment of people listening and try try to be aware of 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 why you're playing music and not just you know not just playing music kind of be aware of, like do it because you love it do it because people enjoy listening to you and don't do it for any other reasons than that and that's that's it that's really awesome that, that that's that's really awesome words all right, folks, you are listening to WPVM 103.7 FM in Asheville. You can listen to us on, online at WPVMFM.org. Uh, we will see you again. Our regular slot is Monday, 4 to 6 um, in the afternoon. Um, so make sure that you tune in this Monday for more buskers and more madness. If you thought that... Uh, <laughs> you thought it was hard to get away from us when you were downtown. Now you can't even drive away from downtown without us being in the car with you. So, hello, folks. Welcome to Buskin Town. And uh, have a really awesome, awesome night. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs>